So there's a new remedy for something that we've all had to deal with at some point in our life, the hiccups. And a Manchester teen has invented hiccup pops, and it's a lollipop that gets rid of the pesky problem. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa has this story. She was just 12 years old in the seventh grade when she won at the Connecticut Invention Convention for concocting a cure for her own hiccups. And I had some hiccups um, persistent that were painful at times. Now 17, Mallory Keeveman is at a new phase, marketing what she calls hiccup pops. I found that uh, hiccups are a real painful, debilitating problem for a lot of people who are taking epilepsy medications, who are undergoing chemotherapy, dialysis. Um, so I thought that it really had the opportunity to help. How does it work? It's very, very sour. Um, it's really sour and that helps um, sort of overstimulate the nerve um, that is most closely connected with the hiccup reflex. As you continue uh, eating it, it will, it gets sweeter. Um, and that's partially what helps is the contrast of the sweet and the sour. Mallory combined natural ingredients apple cider vinegar, sugar, and the lollipop for that sour sweet taste in her family's kitchen. I actually tested these ingredients myself on my hiccups and these were the ones that worked. An internal not so scientific preliminary study has yielded more than promising results. Usually people who try these stop hiccuping instantly. And being a guest at this year's White House Science Fair has her pumped up that she's on the right track. We've been approached by like a top um, cancer research facility um, who's interested in testing these on their patients. Mallory is experimenting with a stronger formula for people who do not respond to this one. It's something everybody gets at some point throughout their lives and I just wanted to see if I could find a way to fix it. That natural curiosity has Mallory wearing two hats at such a young age, researcher and entrepreneur. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8. Thanks, Joss. Now we're joined by the Hiccup Pop inventor, Mallory Keedman, welcome here to CT Style. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, and, and you've brought a, a couple Hiccup Pops, so I, I, I think we should try them because we've kind of learned about them, now we have to see how they taste. So, yeah. you want to help me out here? They are quite sour, as you said, but they're, they're pretty darn good. Yeah. No more hiccups, it's, it's just like that. Now, now tell us the, the science behind it, how does this all work? Yeah, so basically, um, I found the ingredients in the lollipop by testing them myself a few summers ago when I had problems with the hiccups. And the ingredients that worked for me were apple cider vinegar, sugar, and the actual form of a lollipop. And uh, what we found is that uh, super sour flavors or super sweet flavors, along with stimulation to, your, stimulation to your soft palate, helps to overstimulate a nerve in your throat and mouth that works as an off switch for hiccups. Mm. And, and you just found this through, through research or? Uh, yeah, uh, at first it was just that the ingredients worked for me and then um, as I combined them into the lollipop, um, I did more research into the science behind it um, and different studies that had been conducted and found that there was some scientific merit to the ingredients and as to why they worked. And, and you make them in your own kitchen, right? And, and then they're uh, produced and assembled throughout the United States? Uh, yeah, definitely starting for the first year or so. Um, these were made in my kitchen uh, just as a science fair project right. and now they're being officially produced in a commercial manufacturing facility in Texas. Speaking of science fairs, you're going to be at the Invention Convention. You're almost like an ambassador and a role model for some of these younger kids. What's, what, what's the, the best experience, the best takeaway for you uh, participating as a mentor? Yeah, I think that in terms of helping other kids with their inventions, that's really one of the most rewarding parts for me, giving, being able to give them advice um, that I wish I had known, being able to introduce them to people that can help them. I think that's definitely one of the most rewarding aspects of this whole project. Speaking of things that are rewarding, you were recently at the White House, as we saw earlier. How was that experience? Uh, the White House was amazing. I lot, met a lot of cool people and mm -hmm. um, a lot of amazing inventors that are my age and that I can really relate to. Did you see President Obama? Did you give him a little? I saw high him. Five? I I didn't get to I didn't get to meet him, oh, but I okay. saw him. Well, maybe next time. Yeah, next time. Maybe Definitely. once it, maybe once uh, Hiccup Pops go global, then yeah. then, then you'll be able to shake his hand or something like that. Yeah. And, and and you were talking about how there's a, a more potent. Uh, hiccup pop on the way. Is, is it just more apple cider vinegar? or? Um, definitely the sour flavor will be intensified mm -hmm. um, more if that is possible. Um, but hopefully that will help for the small percentage of people that these don't work for, that will help people with um, persistent hiccups. Great. And then where can we check them out online? Because I, I know that there's a lot of viewers that, that could benefit from this. Yeah, um, you can check them out at our website www.hiccupops.com. 
Um, Say that 10 times fast. Yeah. <laughs> Hiccupops.com. Hiccup no, all right. We, we won't go there. But it's Hiccupops.com? Hiccupops.com. Okay. That's a mouthful. No pun intended. Coming up, we're going to be cooking in the kitchen with Kimberly Locke over in the Bender